Hello and welcome at this first ever Exeter Live event. We're very excited to, uh, to do this. It's a new technology for us. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, also, thank you for those people here in the audience that uh, showed up in person. Very excited that you're here. And, uh, and uh, we're going to talk about Excellentia. So today I'm going to explain to you how Excellentia can be used as an enterprise safety lifecycle solution. And we're also going to talk about a new functionality that we're releasing, the Delta V SAS Configurator. We're very excited about that. My name is Iwan van Beurde, and I am the Chief Technology Officer, Director of Product Development here at Exida. In that role, I'm responsible for Excellentia, uh, the development, the maintenance, and certification of that product. Uh, I also work with end users in, in achieving IEC 61511 compliance. I work with manufacturers in achieving IEC 61508 compliance. And I am a functional safety assessor for Exeter. So I work with the manufacturers, I assess their products, as well as with the end users, I assess uh, project, uh, projects, and including entire plants. I am the current director-elect of the ISA Safety and Cybersecurity Division and I'm an ISA 84 uh, committee member as well. Before we talk about Excellentia, let me talk about Exida just a little bit. Exida is a consulting company in functional safety, cybersecurity, alarm rationalization. And we have three main areas that we work in. We work with our tools. We provide uh, powerful lifecycle tools that help you perform your safety lifecycle tasks. We have lifecycle services that we offer. We have consultants that help you with everything from you know, conceptual process design all the way through decommissioning, uh, PHAs, LOPAs, and so on. And then we have our certification and assessment uh, group. And that certification and assessment group uh, performs certifications of product, assessments of products uh, that are used typically in the, in the uh, uh, process industries. Those three groups work together and reinforce each other, and they are the pillars uh, that the foundation of Exida is based on. The Lifecycle Services Group uses our Excellentia software to perform lifecycle tasks. Our Assessment Group will evaluate products, and those products get included in the Excellentia software. It all works nicely together. It's a good synergy between the three different pillars within Exida. Exida was founded in 2000 by Reiner Faller and Bill Goebel two leaders in functional safety at that time, and they set up this company that provided a path for future technical leaders. And we've grown significantly over the last 17 years. There are several ways that we measure success. One is overall market share. Exida is the leader in assessments for products that are used in the process industries. Uh, we have over more than half of the overall certification market compared to all the other companies combined. We are employee owned. Over 90% of our ownership is with active employees. And that is very good because that means your success uh, dictates our success. We want to make you successful so we are successful. And then we have some key statistics. You know, over a thousand products have been certified by Exida. We've evaluated more than half a million of safety instrumented functions. We have over 100 global experts located around the world. I'm currently in our Pennsylvania office in the Philadelphia area. We have offices over in Europe and in Asia Pacific and in South America as well. And we do many different projects from Greenfield and Brownfield in the US, functional safety projects, to large assessments of, of, of LNG facilities in, in Australia, complete plant uh, functional safety assessments. Large alarm rationalization projects in, in South America. Uh, we do a lot of work with the automotive manufacturers in Europe. So our office in, in, in Germany, for example, we have people work with all the major car manufacturers in Europe to implement autonomous driving. We want to make sure that that is functionally safe as well. We have large alarm rationalization projects in the Asia Pacific region currently going on. We work with deep water uh, projects off the Gulf of Mexico, and we work on power plants in the Middle East and in South America. 
So we are a pretty big organization around the world. We are active on many large projects, but we also work with small projects. So if you have a smaller project, just a couple of SIFs, we're there to help you. So let's get started on Excellentia. And let's talk to you about how Excellentia evolved over the years. My first project when I joined Exida in 2000 was to come up with a SIL verification tool for our consultants to use. We wanted to make sure that our consultants were consistent when they performed SIL verification for different customers around the world. As we started to implement the software, it became very clear that the key problem in SIL verification, definitely in the early 2000s, was the availability of failure rate information. So we started to collect failure rates. We made sure that the software was accounting for many of the important parameters you know, some parameters like proof test coverage that are only added to IC61511 in the 2016 edition, we were already accounting for that in 2000. Um, but we started to realize functional safety, uh, SIL verifications, a key problem is always the failure rate data. So we started to collect failure rates and we added that into the tool. And as we went along, as we started to do these SIL verifications, uh, for our customers, we started to realize as well that it was impossible for Exeter to do all the SIL verifications around the world. So we decided to make the tool commercially available. And over the years, it has become the leading SIL verification software in the world. That's not something Exeter is saying. It's uh, shown through a ARC study that indicates that for SIL verification, the silver module within Excellence is the leading, is the leading tool in the world. Our customers are relying on it. They are consistent in their analyses. If they have multiple people perform the uh, software validations, or if they have multiple people performing their SIL verifications, they end up with consistent results. In addition to that, we've continued to evolve the, the, the overall software offering. Excellentia nowadays is much more than just SIL verification. We perform PHAs, we conduct PHAs in the software, we go all the way to recording real life events. So it's much more than just SIL verification. So let me explain to you how Excellentia works as an enterprise safety lifecycle solution. Why would you want to use Excellentia? Well, apart from the fact that it helps you in your overall process safety management uh, workflow processes, there are three main reasons. We have best-in-class tools, we have intelligent lifecycle integration, and we have some groundbreaking enterprise leverage of the data that you record when in Excellentia. And I'll, we'll, we'll I will touch on these three topics each individually. First, best-in-class tools. You may be familiar with our SIL verification tool, uh, Silver. Uh, as I mentioned, that's what we started with and uh, studies show it's the leading product in the market. But it's not just Exeter saying that this is the best tool in the world. It's not just an ARC study saying it's the most used tool in the world. It's our comp competitors as well. I was at a uh, demo a couple of months ago for a large oil and gas company. And uh, one of the questions that I got was, how do you justify the calculation results in silver? And I explained how we do that, how our development process requires that we you know, predict what the results are through alternate calculation methods, that we compare the results to, our, um, uh, to, to the actual output of the tool, that we run regression testing, and so on and so on. And the customer started to laugh and he says, well, all your competitors justify the correctness of their tool by saying that they compare the results to Excellentia. So our competitors use our tool to justify their software. It must be best in class. Other than that, we have other tools as well. You know, we have a fax tool, PHA has up tool, um, that a customer indicated to us, it's the most rigorous tool we've ever seen to conduct has ups. It's not Exodus saying it, it's the user saying it. We have a layer of protection, we have a layer of protection analysis tool, LOPA X, we have a SIL selection tool, Select. We have a tool that records safety requirement specifications for you. An alarm rationalization software, SIL alarm. And then we have a module within Excellentia that's called SILSTAT that we use to record operational events. Operational failures, proof tests, and demands on the process that we can then use to verify that the failure rates that we used during our SIL verification 
that the initiating events that we use during a layer of protection are indeed adequately representing the real life application. All these tools are available as individual modules, but when you look at the Excellentia software, the beauty of the software doesn't start until you really start using all the modules together, until you start to integrate the entire life cycle. What you want is that your fax data automatically flows into your layer of protection analysis. What you want is that your layer of protection analysis information automatically flows to your SIL selection, your safety requirements specification, and that your safety requirements automatically flow to your SIL verification, lifecycle cost evaluation, design SRS, detailed design requirements as a result from your conceptual design, that that goes into your proof test generator, that that goes into your alarm rationalization, and eventually that all that conceptual design goes into a operational a database in our SILSTAT recorder. But that's not where it starts. You know, the life cycle that you see in many of the standards is a top-down approach. We start with, uh, with uh, in, uh, sorry. we start with conceptual process design and we go all the way to decommissioning. But the word already says it, it's a life cycle. And a cycle is round, right? So the real life cycle is a process where the output of your operational event collection is an input to your PHA. That's where you get your hazardous event frequencies. That's where you get the hazardous events that you want to look at in the PHA, so it's a cycle. The Excellentia software allows you to transfer that data and it's revolving around the core and that core consists of three parts. The first part represents industry knowledge. And that industry knowledge is represented in the tool through our equipment databases. If you're familiar with this silver tool, we have an embedded safety equipment reliability handbook database that you can use to select equipment from and automatically obtain the failure rate information. That's your industry knowledge. For the LOPA tool, we have an initiating event, an IPL uh, layer of protection for the LOPA tool, we have an initiating event frequency and IPL probability of failure database. And it's also part of this core uh, in the Excellentia software. The second part of the core represents uh, your project knowledge. We have libraries in the software that whenever you define an item, it's stored in that library and you can automatically then use that library item later on in the life cycle or reuse it within that same uh, phase of the life cycle. So for example, in the fax software, if you define a safeguard, let's say it's a rupture disk, and that rupture disk helps to prevent a certain hazardous event resulting of multiple initiating events or multiple causes, you can simply select that safeguard in multiple locations, and it's the same entity. Or if it's a safety and cementer function, you can select it in multiple locations. But that safeguard item is stored in that library. So when I go to my layer of protection analysis, that safeguard item becomes an independent protection layer. That safeguard item shows up here and shows the exact same information uh, as, uh, as I already recorded in the PHA. And as I go along throughout the life cycle, whenever I add more information to that initial safeguard, if it becomes a safety and cementer function, if I add information to the safeguard safety and cementer function information, we will see that automatically show up in the silver tool. So the library allows us to collect all that information in a central place within the project. So that's the project knowledge. The third aspect here is the corporate knowledge or institutionalized knowledge. And the corporate knowledge represents the ability for you to configure your projects uh, any way you want. You can record no types with specific deviations that you can use for every project that you are doing in the fax tool. You can record specific custom data that you assign to, for example, the safety requirement specification that you always want to look at in addition to the default fields that we have in the tool that you always want to look at when you perform a safety requirement specification. So we have this project configuration. Part of the project configuration is also the risk configuration. So you can document your own risk matrix. There's no limits to the matrix uh, in, in this uh, core, uh, third part uh, of the core of Excellentia. So that is the uh, core within 
the overall Excellentia software. Now, in addition to the Excellentia data core, we also talk about a data stack. And you see that here, where we have five different layers that the software can be used on. We started out with talking about best-in-class tools. You can use each tool individually. If you just want to do a process hazard analysis, you can buy the process hazard analysis tool, work with it completely independent. The data core is still going to be available to you. Corporate knowledge, in industry knowledge, as well as project knowledge is going to be there. But if you want to benefit from the integration, you, you, you will use the software on the project layer. And the project layer uh, is what we just talked about on the previous slide. Data flows from one you know, tool to the next and so on. The third layer here represents our database layer. And the database layer is uh, an indication of our ability to communicate with third-party control systems to, for example, configure a master alarm database. So our SIL alarm software that we can use for alarm rationalization can help in establishing that master alarm database and we are able to communicate that with the basic process control system. The fourth layer is the configuration layer and we'll talk about that in a little bit more in the upcoming section on the Delta V Sys configurator but we are able to automatically configure the logic for a safety PLC based on the configuration we do in the conceptual design phase, based on the detailed design requirements that we specify within Excellentia. And then finally, the fifth layer is our access layer, and that represents our ability to exchange information with uh, enterprise systems, like an ERP system or a CMMS system or a SAP system. We can communicate with those systems uh, through the access layer, uh, get information in, send information out, and so on. All of this is available in a scalable solution. Our licensing is based on concurrent use. With a single Excellentia license, you can model as many projects as you want, as many SIFs as you want. With a single license of the SILSTEP module, you can monitor an entire plant. You can, you, know, trend, you can track as many devices as you want throughout the life of the plant. Everything is based on concurrent users. There are no limitations to your ability to execute work um, when you have the software. If you have multiple people needing access to the software, then obviously you need to have multiple concurrent users. And we have different license options for that, but we don't put any limits on our software uh, for a single user license. So with that, I hope you have an understanding as to how Excellentia can work within an enterprise organization. Different tools, different phases of the life cycle, different groups within the enterprise, and then exchanging the data throughout the enterprise. Which brings us to basically the announcement of the release of the Delta V SIS configurator. And we're very excited about that. What we've done is we've taken that conceptual design that we've documented in the silver tool and we've created a, a tool, a utility basically, that translates that into logic that can be imported into a Delta V Sys configurator. How does that look like? In the silver tool, you document your conceptual design. For each safety and cement function, you document the inputs, the outputs, the voting, and so on. And with that, you basically dictate what you need to program in your application program. And the utility, with a click of a button, can generate that safety logic. You can verify that safety logic with the cause and effect matrix that we can also generate, but you don't really need that. You can automatically generate the logic from, uh, from, this, uh, from the Excellentia software. So that's the concept. Well, let's look at it in a little bit more detail. I have a very simple safety and cement function here. It consists of a voting arrangement here, two out of three transmitters, a single ESD push button uh, that go into a logic solver that drive two outputs. And we can see how this logic directly relates to what we can do in Delta V SIS on the configuration of Delta V SIS. We see, for example, an analog voter block here with three inputs. That's my two out of three voting. We see a single uh, discrete input uh, that goes directly into the 
uh, Delta V uh, SIS uh, CEM block. So both of these go into the CEM block. The CEM block can be configured to, in this case, trip if either one indicates a trip. It's a one of the two vote between the groups. And then it drives two outputs. So it's very straightforward on how this configuration relates to the logic that we generate in Delta VSIS. A little bit more detail. Let's look at some configuration options for the sensors. We have a high trip or low trip selection. So you indicate if, this, you know, if, you, if your trip point is above or below your actual uh, typical process value. And based on that, we're specifying that we're going to trip if the value, process value, is greater than my trip limit. Trip limit in this case defined in excellentia. The range 0 to 30 bar defined in excellentia shows up directly here. Now we saw it was a two out of three voter, so the number of trip, number to trip is two. Of the three inputs, I need two to tell me that I need to go to the safe state. All that can be automatically configured in this voter block. There's no manual inter interaction needed. There's many parameters that we specify in our conceptual design that we need to know to implement application logic. On the sensor end, we have the number of inputs. We have the voting between those inputs. We have the high trip versus low trip selection, you know, a greater than or, or less than uh, indication of our process value compared to a trip point. Out of range detection, are we going to be able to detect signals that are out of range? Most transmitters have a 3.6 or 3.75 lower end and a 21.5 upper end to indicate there's a transmitter fault. What are we going to do if we detect one of those faults? Are we going to consider that an automatic vote for trip? Are we going to bypass? Uh, what are we going to do? A trip delay. So if I have a vote for trip, I'm going to wait until I see if this signal will actually go out of range and be an unhealthy transmitter signal. All that is stuff that we configure in our conceptual design and that will impact how we need to implement our logic. The tags, the ranges, the trip points, and then obviously the units of measure. On the final element, we need to know how many outputs we're driving, what the tags are of those outputs. We don't really look at the voting because the voting is a result as to how the valves, if it's valves, how they are piped in the field. If they're closing on trip, two valves in series, it's a one out of two. If, uh, if they're in parallel, closing on trip, it's a two out of two. In either case, the logic solver is going to drive two valves. So the voting is not something that we're importing here because you know, we don't really care about it in the logic. That's, that's the field. Action, energize to trip or de-energize to trip. Uh, based on that, we may need to implement some different logic. And then there's some detailed design SRS requirements. How are we going to handle maintenance overrides? How are we going to handle bypasses? Do we need startup overrides? Let's say I have a low level trip, but before I can make the safety function active, I need to make sure that my level in the tank is above that low level trip. So I may need an override. What's the actual time delay on the, if we have a delay uh, for trip? Reset functions and then auxiliary inputs and outputs. In SIL verification, when we define our safety and cement function, we don't really care about auxiliary inputs and outputs. You know, we only care about those inputs and outputs that are important to detect the hazard and bring the process to a safe state. We exclude ex uh, auxiliary inputs and outputs from our SIL verification. But when I implement logic, I want to know what these additional inputs and outputs are. Uh, so we can specify that in the design SRS. I have a very simple Excellentia project here with a total of 13 safety and cement functions. Um, not, nothing too exciting. And I've you know, configured all of this and I exported, converted this into Delta V SIS logic. And on the next slide here, we can see what that looks like in the Delta V environment. On the left hand side here, we see all the SIS modules that were defined based on my safety functions. And then here, in the control studio, we see the actual logic that was generated. Click of a button. It took me less than five minutes to generate this entire logic. To click on the button, to generate the, the configuration file and import it into a Delta V environment. Less than five minutes. Doesn't matter if it's one function, if it's 13 functions, or if it's 100 functions. It's the same amount of time needed 
to click a button, copy a file, import a file, and open it up. Five minutes to configure your entire logic solver. There are some benefits, obviously, to automatically uh, creating your logic. Consistency. Instead of having multiple uh, engineers working on implementing logic, it's, it's always consistent. It's the same approach to implementing that logic. It's uh, a fraction of the time. I talked about five minutes. I demoed this concept at a, at a trade show at the end of last year, and a gentleman come up to me and he said, oh, what you just did in five minutes took me six months. Just imagine how much shorter your project schedule is going to be. And many times when we look at projects, people start to implement the logic in the logic solver way before the upfront design is done, way before all the analysis is done, all the safety requirements are specified, way before the conceptual design is evaluated. The reason for that is project schedule. <clears throat> you get to the point where all that upfront work is completed and you have to go back and do rework because some of your original assumptions are no longer valid. You can wait until the last minute to generate your logic in this case. No rework, no potential for bugs or incorrect specification. It will dramatically impact your project schedule and it will also ensure that you are compliant with the application software requirements that are set out in IEC 615.11.2016. We're very excited about this new functionality and we're announcing today that it is available for pre-order. If you're interested, contact, it, contact us directly or contact your local Exeda representative. It is a plugin to Excellential Ultimate, so you'll need to have an Excellential Ultimate license and we're going to be shipping no later than June 30th. We're very excited about this. We're running it on a couple of beta projects. The, the results are amazing. Uh, so you want to check this out. In summary, what I've shown you is how Excellentia can be used as a complete enterprise lifecycle tool, all the way from analysis to operation and maintenance. Excellentia is much more than just a SIL verification tool. It's a PHA software, a LOPA software, all the way to actual recording of field event uh, data. Data will flow throughout the lifecycle from one phase to the next. With the Delta V Sys configurator, we've taken the next step in providing you that fully integrated safety lifecycle tool. A significant time, time saver and enforcer of consistency in your application logic. We've done some studies as to how much impact is this going to have on an overall project. And we've done some cost studies. We created a, a little in-house tool and feel free if you want to play with that, let us know, we can help you with that. But we've estimated how much effort is involved in performing safety lifecycle tasks using traditional methods or non-integrated tools. And we've used the same you know, tool to estimate how much effort it would take with Excellentia. When it comes to a PHA, you know, the amount of time it takes to sit in the PHA is going to be pretty much the same. But there are certain things that, through our smart deviations, can make things a lot faster. We've conservati conservatively estimated the benefit uh, of the traditional approach with Excellentia. We've come to the conclusion that, in some cases, you can easily achieve 4x time savings, if not more. We've used some uh, average engineering rates, and we had a project, a relatively you know, a well-sized project, and we came to the conclusion where the overall engineering hours could be half a million in one case, we, we ended up with 125,000 in, uh, in the Excellentia case. So if you want to try that out, we have this utility that we can use. You can play with your engineering rates, you can play with your hour estimation, and, um, and you can see how much benefit you can get by using Excellentia. So if you want to know more, feel free to sign up for a free trial at our website, www.excellentia.com. All these links are going to be in the description with the video, so you can look at the description text in the YouTube video. Um, we have several open enrollment classes scheduled. We have a set scheduled for September in the Houston area. Later this year, 
uh, feel free to join us there. Um, follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at Exeter LLC for our latest news and upcoming schedules, uh, including uh, conferences that we may be attending. Uh, you know, visit us and get a live demo at one of those conferences. Um, if you want to contact me personally, my name is Iwan van Burde. My email address is on this slide. My phone number is on this slide. Feel free to reach us, uh, reach myself directly, or reach out to any of us at Exeter, your local representative, and so on. To commemorate this first live event, we have obtained these slinkies. We're very happy with these slinkies. Um, the slinky represents our data core and it, uh, our data stack. That's how we came up with the slinky idea. But it comes with a set of instructions. And those instructions are instructions to life cycle cost savings. You start off with buying Excellentia individual tools, uh, best in class tools. You use a intelligent integration and then you move the data throughout your enterprise. Everybody in the audience will go home with one of these slinkies. If you want the slinky, visit us at one of our trade shows, come to our training classes, or just contact us for an in-house demo. We're happy to uh, support you, uh, we're happy to work with you, and um, I'm going to hand out these to the people in the audience right now. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much for attending this first live event. I hope this was informative to you, and I hope there's many more live events to follow. Thank you and take care.